everyone and thank you for joining us on our virtual tour. My name is Sue Senever it is my and it is my absolute privilege to be the principal of this wonderful school, a school that I had the great opportunity to open in 2015 and have watched it grow over that journey to find us where we are at today. One of the benefits of that too is that we have recruited all of our staff to the culture that we're trying to create here at our school um, and that makes it a fantastic place to, to work but also a terrific place for your children to learn and to play. I'd like to share with you a little bit about our school um, and show you around, as I said, virtually. We do have a strong culture and that is based on our values of respect, responsibility and honesty. And we work endlessly to achieve our vision statement, which is about high levels of achievement for all students. Um, me, along with our leadership team, I have a very strong passion to see every child at potential. But what potential looks like is different for each individual, and that's what we work with our teachers on. Um, part of our expectation around that is that we get them to meet weekly and to table each child's individual data and challenge each other on student growth so that we can have them all at that potential we're striving to see. All this is underpinned about, around our work around seeing all that all children that attend our school are happy and safe because we would hold to the view that that makes them feel more comfortable and when they are, they learn better anyway. Now we find ourselves in our wonderful art room um, and I thought I'd talk to you a bit about the facilities that we have here at Wyndham Vale Primary School. Um, as, uh, they're pretty new, they're as good as any in the area just because of the age of the school, which means that we do have um, state of the art um, facilities and an environment for the children to work in. Our children work out of single classrooms with their own homeroom teacher so our school is not open plan if you're wondering. We have a full full size gymnasium and the children have their physical education lesson in there each week and we can hit, fit the whole school in for an assembly. We have a beautiful library which is staffed every day and that's quite unusual in schools these days but there is a library technician that's in there each and every day and we have both visual and performing arts classrooms. We have a fully staffed first aid room and our school nurse is on site each and every minute that your child is at school and then we have all the usual things that you find in schools like we have bike sheds, um, we have two outside hard courts, basketball courts, um, we have four sets of playground equipment and they're designated to different particular year levels and they're all covered with, with shade sails. We have sand pits, we have two gaga pits, we're absolutely hugely popular with our kids, we have a giant chessboard, um, we have, our aim is to have lots and lots and lots of things for the children to do outside that assist them to connect socially and to give them something to do in break times. We also have a designated play, play space for our prep students or as we refer to them our foundation students um, because that gives them a safe environment away from what can be quite overwhelming with lots of children in the yard. At um, Windervale Primary School we do operate straight classes not composite classrooms so each year level is on its own so your child may be in a grade one class not a one two for example and the home room teacher that they have for that class does most subjects with them so the English, the maths, the social studies and the science but they do attend specialist classes in the arts, performing arts and visual arts and that's on a term rotation, physical education, ICT and the language other than English that we do here at Windervale Primary School is Australian Sign Language, the language of the deaf. When your child gets to grade five and six, they can participate in our inter-school sports program um, and um, that's both on site and they travel by bus to other locations. And the other thing I thought I'd talk to you briefly about was our school hours. So school starts at 8.35 in the morning. The children come in, they spend 10 minutes of that time reading. And that is your opportunity to talk to their child's, your child's class teacher with any messages that you might like to share with them. But we do ask that you leave at 8.45. The children do two, a two hour learning block then. And then we have a half hour break for recess. We do another two hour learning block. And then we have a half hour, a 10 minute lunch eating time. And then an additional half hour outside for our lunch break and then another hour and the school day finishes at five to three. In the middle of those two hour blocks the children have opportunity for brain food so they can have a sm um, fresh fruit and veggies or some water as a bit of a snack to refuel and re-energize so they can keep going with their learning. Our school uniform is compulsory. You will see that in the photos that, as you've been watching this virtual tour um, and it is available from noons, but we do have prices at school if you're interested. And we do have an on-site canteen that is open not only for um, over-the-counter sales, so they're only for snacks, but through a lunch order program that you might have 
um, experience when you're at school yourself. We do also have the opportunity for you to book your child into before and after school care if that is of interest to you. Our before school care program starts at 6.35 in the morning which is a little earlier than some of our other local schools and it works right through to 6.30 at night to give you opportunity to get home in the instance that the freeway might be super busy. Student welfare is a priority for all of the staff at Wyndham Vale Primary School and we do have available a bit of extra support for children who may need that from time to time, inclusive of speech therapists and school counsellors and guidance officers. We do have a strong focus on working with children around anti-bullying and we actively practice the principles of the school-wide positive behaviour program. Most terms we have excursions which your children can participate in and there is a strong camping program which starts in Foundation when the children come for breakfast, in grade two they come for a sleepover and then they have overnight stays in grade four and grade six. We do welcome parent assistance in our classroom. Your children love having you here on site assisting out. All that we would ask is that you participate in our induction program before we roster you to be a part of that. Student leadership is a key feature of the school here at Wyndham Vale Primary School and our junior school council, which is led by our school captains, make valid contributions to the running of the school, not simply as a fundraising body. Your children when they arrive at Wyndham Vale will be put in a sporting house, one of the four colours, they'll be red, green, yellow or blue. Um, and they may stay in that house throughout the time that they're here at Wyndham Vale Primary School and those houses are used for various competitions, not just sporting ones but academic as well, e.g. our school spelling bee. You know, from time to time throughout your child's journey at any primary school, including ours, there may be something that you're not quite sure about or something that really bothers you. So our principal class are out on yard duty in the yard before and after school each and every day to give you the opportunity to approach them if you have heard something that you're not sure about. Failing that, send us an email and we will get back to you because it works really well if we have a positive relationship between home and school. We are now currently taking enrolment applications for students for next year and indeed for the rest of this year. So to process that, fill in the application form online and someone will be in touch. At that point, they will also ask you to bring in a copy of your child's immunisation record and their birth certificate, along with two uh, forms of proof of residence, because we do have a designated neighbourhood boundary, effectively a zone, and you have to live within our zone to attend our school. So we need some um, letters from government authority, be they Centrelink um, or um, from a, your rates from the local council or a letter from a real estate agent. Some other things that you need to be aware of that if you're enrolling your child for foundation, and you might know it as prep for next year, your child must be five by the 30th of April or they are not able to start school until the following year. Unfortunately, there are no exceptions for that rule. If you're planning for life next year when your young person is at primary school, we do need to let you know that for February, it, the foundation students have Wednesdays off. So you might need to organise someone to look after your child on that day. Um, that's just to give them a rest as they have started what is a very busy period of their life. Um, orientation sessions and infant parent information nights are scheduled for later in the year for children that will be starting school next year with us. So if you can get your application form in, that helps us to include you in those. Thanks heaps for checking in with our school. Um, we do have a focus on high achievement, but social, all, including socially, emotionally and academically for each of our students and we want the best for all of them. We'd love to have you join us. We're truly proud of the work we do here and we'd love to partner with families on this educational journey because it truly is an exciting time. Thank you once again and I look forward to getting to meet you.